Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at uh, building an account using the alpha beta method. Uh, it's really been one of my favorite methods. Uh, lower CPCs, higher quality scores, higher ROI. I've, I've transformed client accounts, restructuring their accounts using this. Um, it's a little bit confusing on paper, so I thought I'd kind of put it on the board and, and show you around. Um, first thing that we're going to do is research some, some beta keywords. So they're called beta because beta are these incubation units. They're larger groups of modified broad keywords. You don't really know kind of what's good, what's bad yet. Um, they're just kind of test keywords. So we're going to research some and, and you know, you can find them via the Google Keyword Tool. You can use tools like SEMrush and SpyFu, plug in your competitor domains. That's, that's what I prefer to do. I leverage my competitor's work as much as I can. Um, from there, we're going to group them into ad groups. And this is, again, pretty rough. You know, this is a little bit fast and furious. Ready, fire, aim. Uh, we're just going to take the theme. So here I kind of color coded them as an example, but just thematic groups of black, red, green, right? So different ad groups, ad group one, ad group two, ad group three. And you're just going to stick an ad, maybe two ads if you want to split test and there's enough volume as well um, inside of each ad group. Some performance data accumulates from there, right? Some, some time passes depending on what your budget is, depending on how much data volume there is. You might have to wait longer or, or shorter. Sometimes you can get results in a week. Sometimes it takes a month and a half. Um, and we're just gonna look at this modified, each of these modified keywords, right? Uh, so this is why I put a little plus symbol there because it's the modified broad keyword. And inside of this modified broad keywords, if you look at the search terms, you'll see that this modified broad keyword is composed of multiple search terms. All right, so I have six over here. And there's really one of three states that a search term inside one of these beta keywords can be, right? It can either be like, I don't know, like for whatever reason there's no data or it looks like it could be good, but it's only had one conversion and I'm not sure if it's gonna have another. Uh, or you can say, yeah, you know, it passes my test for a pretty good search query that I wanna bid for long-term. Has good conversions, good cost per conversion. It's really looking like a winner. Maybe it's a query that I hadn't even thought of that was triggered by a modified broad. Or you can say, no, definitely not. Like, this is completely unrelated. You know, I'm, I'm bidding for baseball bats and I'm getting hockey sticks or, or just something completely unrelated. And so for each of these, there's going to be something different that we're going to do, right? If, it's, if we don't know what's going on, maybe it just needs more time if it's low search volume. If it's not triggering anything, maybe you need to up the bids a little bit. Maybe you need to get on a support call with a Google rep if, if you have a group of queries that are not running and you don't know why. Um, if it's a winner, I'll get that back to that in just a second because that's a little bit more complex. And if it's a loser, we're going to do something where we're going to add it as a in, on a shared keyword group, uh, sorry, shared keyword list called main negative. So inside the shared li library, you have negative keyword lists. So you're going to add this search query inside so that that was triggered, and you're going to add it to the shared negative list. And it's going to impact. I drew this dotted line because it's going to start impacting your beta campaign, right? Um, or, you know, if, if the whole query, I mean, sorry, if the whole modified broad keyword is bad, like it's generating a whole slew of, of bad search queries, you can cut this one out entirely and just pause uh, that ad group or that keyword, right? If it's good, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, first of all, add it to this, uh, this is counterintuitive, we're going to add it to another shared negative um, keyword list called the alpha negatives, right? And the alpha negatives are only applied to beta campaigns, right? So there's another little dotted line because it's also going to impact this. So this is this beta campaign is no longer going to trigger this winning query, right? And the other thing that we're going to do, which is really quite important, is that we're going to take this All right, we're going we're gonna to take this and we're going to create an alpha campaign. And inside that alpha campaign is going to be what's called a single keyword ad group, SKAG. Right? Inside, inside this ad group, there's going to be that winning query. And we're going to write an ad specifically for that query to really jack up the quality scores, to really kind of milk that query as much as possible to make the most amount of profit from it. So this setup forces whenever this query gets triggered, it's not going to get triggered by the beta campaign because we have this alpha negative shared list and it will get triggered by this specific alpha campaign over here. 
And yeah, so in a nutshell, that runs you through the theory of the alpha-beta method for account structures.